everybody. I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Oh, and today we have a awesome Kickstarter to show you. It's All the bus. All the bus. Yeah. This is going to be hitting Kickstarter April 20th. We're a little bit early cuz Not we're... all the cars, not all the not all the All the bus. All the trucks. All the bus. I didn't know what all, all the, the bus was. It's apparently it's all the, old, old all the school bus. door hang door knockers. Like this thing. Yeah. I like never the... heard of this. this and is, This is a new theme for And me. they were like they were used to like denote your profession on the door. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So that's hold on. In let, let me read. <laughs> Gather round. <laughs> so actually the full name, to be fair, is Aldabas Doors of Cartagena. Okay. Yeah. In Cartagena, Colombia, the doors speak. Not with words, but with grandiose Aldabas, door knockers that adorn them. In Spanish colonial times, the Aldabas announced your job and your social status with the design and detail. Ornate lions for soldiers, intricate lizards for Spanish nobles, sea creatures, real and mythical, for fishermen, trade tools for builders, and exquisite hands for the clergy. In Aldabas, you seek to fill your neighborhood with influential people as they go about their jobs. Those who keep their the best company and the fullest coffers will surely be held in highest regard. So, nice. Anyway, we are basically uh, going to do actions and set collection things. And we are going to put our our doors that we collect from our neighborhood, we're going to put them in our little community here. Um, and activate the powers of each door and so on and so on. Yeah. And, and I, yeah, I got killed on this. <laughs> the, 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 the we actually time. ended up tied. And I went on tiebreaker. But yes. I, I killed him. But it was it was it was an oversight of my part. I yeah. Was, I should have had a lot more. You should have had a lot more. <laughs> um so it plays two to four players. It says about thirty minutes. It might I don't think it takes that long. It'd probably take us that long because We're teaching. We're teaching and I'm slow. We've only played once. So, um we have pulled out twelve coins per player. Yes. And you can use whatever coins you want, but uh this, oh, this is, I should mention, this is a prototype. Yeah, whatever you see here is a prototype. Prototype copy. The box is Things prototype. could be changed. However, it yeah. looks fairly like what it is going to look like, complete with player aids and everything. Oh, uh, who could that be? That's fine. We'll keep going. Well, I mean, it could be like someone has a sign for something. So, I will continue <laughs> on with the discussion. So, um... With the door cards uh, on our turn, we can either take two coins from the supply and add them to the per. Oh, sorry. Let me let me back up. Well, you get to take two actions. One action is to take two coins. Another action is to buy a door. Did we need? Some, did we? It was a door caller. Somebody who was asking for my signature or something. I don't know. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. Um, no. So if we go to the overhead, I can show yes. where we are going to buy a door from. How about this location down here? These two slots, guess how much those cost? Free. Very good. These <laughs> are going to cost one, two, or three coins. Amazing. They match the color of these coins for a reason. So <laughs> it's true. Yeah. That's how much it costs. <laughs> uh, and you can use an act, and that will put the door in your hand, not in your neighborhood. You can use one of your two actions to place a door. You're going to select the door from your hand and put it in an empty space in your, uh, they call it your block. And it will end up looking like a block. Is it block or grid? Bl uh, well, that's, that's the, the catch. On, On the, the rules, <laughs> it says block. On the player aid, it says <laughs> grid. However, I think if I if someone were going to ask me, it is your neighborhood, right? You're putting, you got doors in a neighborhood. I would say block or yeah, sure. or neighborhood even. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then if you have more than seven doors in your hand, you have to discard two. You have seven and then play goes to the next player clockwise. Yeah. The game end is triggered when the supply runs out of coins. Like I said, 12 per player. Or a player fills the 12th and final space in the block. You already have one space filled, and we're going to talk about that in a second. 
or the dock cannot be refilled because the dock deck has been exhausted. So, whoever triggered the end game is going to finish their turn, then everyone else is going to take one final turn. If we need more coins, we're going to take more coins from the general pile, sort of like Roll for the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. um, and then when the final turns are done, we're going to go to scoring. Our block is a 4 by 3 grid. And when we are going to place things in our grid, I'm going to place them as if as if this was this were as if this were upward. Yep. Um, upside down to myself. The first one can either go here or here. You cannot place something in the block if like if I place something here, my next spots can be either here, here, or well it can't be here. Because if I have an empty spot to the left, which I do, it's got to go, go there. So it could go here or here. Now I've got three options. Here, here, or here. So it's three tall by four wide. So currently I've got half the spots on the bottom already filled. That would be the third spot. That would be the fourth spot. This, this is a legal play here. If I wanted to do it this way. But after doing this, I have exactly one place I could play. And that's right here. Because you have to go from left to right and building upward. Yeah. But so. There's also, you can't play. What? You also can't play two of the same color. I ain't got there yet. Yeah, I get oh, it. Oh, by the way, you cannot play. <laughs> that, that's why I've got extra guards here. Okay. I don't want you to forget. So, no. That, I'm, I'm not going to forget. <laughs> so, uh, because there are only three colors of door... There is exactly one card I can play in this space. A blue. That would be a blue card. It doesn't matter what's on the door knocker. It matters the color of door. Um, I could put either a red or a yellow in this spot. So you just want to make sure that, you know, you don't make it so you're stuck with a fistful of a single color. Mm -hmm. That's not going to help you much. So... Uh, what happens when you place a card down? Um, when you place a card, you are going to activate that card and all orthogonally adjacent cards. There are some cards that uh, have a one-time effect. There are some cards that will uh, last forever. For example, this one has an ongoing effect of you pay one less gold coin whenever uh, you purchase a door. And, oh, by the way, the ability of this card is purchase a door. Immediately buy a card. Um, all of the builders will have this power. Um, let's see what else we have. So the builders are the ones that have this tradesman symbol on it and have a little uh, square. Brick wall. A little, a little brick square right here. Yeah. And... They're all worth two points apiece. I'm going to see if I can successfully wrench out one copy of each of these things. Yeah. Um, the one soldier, soldiers always have these, uh, these lions on it. You've got the one soldier and two soldier cards. Uh, notice that they do not always have to be the same color. I mean, notice I got three twos here. They're all different colored doors. So the color of door does not matter as far as the powers go. The powers are based on, uh, you can either say the symbol of the door knocker or the points and symbol on the card. And all of the one soldier cards will all have this symbol. Mm -hmm. So um, the first power here, move a coin from your purse onto a door in your block where it acts as plus one influence. Oh, hey, what's influence? At the end of the game, we are going to compare influence in each of these groups. For example, the soldier group. And whoever has the most influence is going to get bonus points. So, um, so uh, currently this is worth one influence, but if I add a coin to it because of a power, this is now worth two influence. So, pretty cool. Um, this power here, move one coin 
from your purse into your vault. Your purse is any money that you've just got out in front of you. Um, so I, I now have one coin in my purse. That's a coin in my vault. It's obviously hidden from Steph. She doesn't know anything about it. I mean, I do. But this yeah. is going to earn me, I believe, two victory points at the end. Let me uh, look. Yeah, well, it depends on your influence of the... Nope. Mm, no. Score two points for each coin in your vault. Oh, so... Then move them to your purse. Nobles also score additional. Four coins in your purse. Which well, those vault coins will yeah. come out and be a part of your purse mm -hmm. at the end of the game. Okay. Now, let's say I've got two coins here. And I, at some point, put those two coins in my vault and I need to pay for something. The rules don't say you can pay for anything out of your vault. Right. And you, so you can't just go, oh, uh, yeah, I've got two. No, you don't have those. In, would, they're in your vault. I would vault. assume no. They are in your vault. So that those are the soldier abilities. Uh, there are three fisherman abilities. And that is denoted by these little blue drops. So the one ability. The top part is the bonus that we're going to get at the end of the game. I'll talk those over in just a minute. The important thing is these actions, which activate, remember, when you place the card and whenever you place a card next to it. On this one, draw two cards, keep one, discard one. The level two fisherman will get to steal two coins from one person or one coin from two people. Mm. Uh, and, clear, and you are going to steal from their purse. You cannot steal from their vault. And last but not least, number three, gain three coins to your purse. Uh, let me see here. Um, on buy a door in the rules, it doesn't say whether to add, it says pay the cost in coins. It doesn't, unless I'm missing it somewhere. Uh, let me see. Um, you may not place an item in your vault unless a game effect specifically permits you to, otherwise coins stay in your purse and doors stay in your hand. It does not say whether you can pay for it, pay for anything out of the vault. Um, not that you would want to, because, I mean, coins in the vault are good. You don't want to just willy-nilly pull them out of there. Um, the nobles. This is where I thought I was going to get a whole buttload of points, and they didn't seem to help me too awful much. They are of value of influence two and three. The two nobles are... Your soldiers always move one additional coin, uh, will place one additional coin from the purse onto a card. Um, so if I place uh, this forever and ever, it's now got this ongoing ability. Or from your purse into your vault. <clears throat> oh yeah, because soldiers can either move cards onto, that is the power of the soldier, move them onto a door or into your vault. So this will allow you to move one additional coin mm -hmm. for every one of these, actually, because all of these powers stay on permanently. Here's the catch, though. When you put something next to this, you're not going to trigger anything else. But that's probably already a pretty strong power. Same thing for this little dude over here. He's worth three points, period. Doesn't matter how many times you trigger him. He's only going to be worth at the end of the game. Three, okay. points three points at the end of the game. Yeah. So, they are strong and weak. You know what I'm saying? You can't activate them. Right. But they give you permanent bonuses. Right. Uh, we already talked about builders. Last and uh, definitely not least, we have clergy. Um, with clergy, you get to move a card from your hand to your vault. It doesn't take up any space. They will be worth influence when calculating total influence but the clergy itself is not going to be worth a whole lot um so it says move a card so it sounds like it's non-optional but i don't know it says move a card from the hand to the vault so um you may activate so when you place a card onto the grid next to another card mm -hmm. let's say i've well i can't place that one because it's the wrong color Let's say I place this and I, I activate that. I can activate this, then this, or this, then this. You can activate them in any order you want. And you can skip anything 
you don't want to do. So if you don't want to put one in your vault, you don't have to. So uh, the, your powers are always optional. Though, you know, so, and sometimes I didn't want to move cards from my hand into my vault because I wanted to play them down here. Yeah. I had the exact right color and I didn't want to mess that up. But maybe I want to keep my fisherman count secret from Steph. I might want to take this blue three and just sneak him up inside my vault. But that's the only way you can put cards into your vault. Other than the start of the game, you're going to get one under there at the start. So, hey, what do you get if you have influence in those categories? Well, with soldiers, the first place player is going to get a victory point per noble in your grid. It's three points. Oh, sorry. It's like tiny. Yeah. Um, three points. You see, it's got the little, it's Brown. got a three here. It's really hard to see. Yeah. For like old <laughs> eyes like mine. Um, but yeah, three points per noble in your grid. If you are second most, you get one point per noble in your grid. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, it doesn't, the rules don't exactly state, but you know how a lot of two player games, it says the second player gets nothing. This one does not say anything, but it does say that you need at least one point to qualify. So as long as you have one point out here, then you're going to get second place points. That was something you didn't have any clergy in our game. I know that's what that's and what I that, thought would kill me because I had a million influence. So the fisherman power first place in fisherman will get one point per influence left in your hand. The second place will get one point for every two influence in hand. For the nobles, whoever has the most influence will get one victory point per coin in your purse slash vault. Well, everything in the vault will eventually move out to the purse, so they just mean every coin you've collected. Second place will get one point for every two coins in your purse or vault. And, of course, the three points on the card themselves. Right. Those are, those are this is just influence points, the thing on the very top that I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, this three is not victory points. This three over here is influence. Yeah. That is what gets you those bonus points. Anyway, the clergy. First place in clergy will get one victory point for every three influence in your grid, so in your block, including, in, uh, including all of the coins that you've got acting as influence. It does not count influence in your vault. Um, the second place player will get one victory point for five, every five influence in your block. Now, that's not to say that the stuff in your vault doesn't have influence. It's saying that you will only get those clergy bonus just for the grid one, just the block ones, not for the ones you've tucked under. Well, it's because the ability of the clergy is to tuck cards under. Exactly. So you, don't, you can't really like... Yeah, I understand. Exactly. I understand why you're not scoring for that. Right. And last but not least, the builder's power. One victory point for every non-builder in your grid. Everything that is not a builder tradesman. And second place will get one for every two non-builders yeah. in your in your grid. And the reason I'm using grids because they you say grid on here and block on the rules. But the concept is the same. Witness says, I'll get it. She's going to get the door. Oh, you'll get the door. Yeah, she's, she's gonna get Which the door. door are you going to get? The one. You got this door? The fake mail. How about this door? Or this door? It's funny. We got someone ringing our doorbell. The, we, we the have, modern have, day door knocker. We don't have a door knocker. We don't have a door box. knocker. <laughs> if we did, it'd probably be a big meeple. Yeah. That would be awesome. Or a computer circuit board for me. There's definitely a market for door handles that need to be meeples. We should get on that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is that is that. Now you got to look at my stuff upside down. Sorry, guys. Well, you could you could keep it there if you want. I probably could. I'm gonna throw everybody off. Watch this. Oh, got to throw myself off. All right, how many do we start off with? Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I've got scoring here. 
Um, deal five doors to each player. What are you doing? <laughs> You're moving that in the way. Uh, mm. uh. Five? Uh, yes, five. What do I do with these? You're going to take one of those. You're going to put one of them underneath your vault. Whoa. Whoa, crazy talk. And then we're going to deal these five up. Right? Oh, so I start with four cards in my hand? Yeah, pretty much. Sweet. Remember, seven is the limit. It's a limit. All right, one is under. Uh, when you purchase one from the vault, obviously the thing's going to scoot down. So scoot, we're going to put scoot, the draw scoochie. pile right there. What the? All right. Try to keep that in view of myself. I would put it on the screen, except it takes a lot of room. Um, if I were to put it up here, I mean, it would basically take up... My whole area. <laughs> hey, maybe we should do that. Um, <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, so you were a little thief when you played against me. It was really Whoa. bad. You were. You were a total thief. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. What's this? What's this? It wasn't me. I'm going to just tuck them sideways there. Who's Alexa, first? pick a number. Choose a number between 1 and 10. Pick 8. 8, that's you. Yeah, that's me. Scott's uh, dot is going to stop talking to him because she's going to be used to the sound of my voice. <laughs> so, I'm so taking this? action of taking it to her hand and an action of playing it from her hand to her block so ta-da she's already done it so and i draw two you draw two and keep one give me good things give me something good boom boom the boom dang it dang it dang it bobby oh what do i want to do I'm going to play this for three coins. Ooh. I'm going to play this. That makes things cheaper. Mm-hmm. Buy one of these dudes up. Should I do the uh, silly noble strategy again? <laughs> I don't know. You killed me on that last time. It's pretty good. Oh, and I get three more coins. Which, that seems pretty good. Uh, I am going to pay one coin, and indeed, I am going to take that noble card. Cool. Cool. I'm going to steal two coins from you. Did it. Thanks. Of course you did. Thanks so much. And then I will um, steal two coins from you. And I will put one under this. 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 And draw two cards. Keep one. Yes. Mm, I'm going to make the pile run out. I am going to draw two cards, keep one. Oh, this is interesting. Whoa. Oh, maybe I want that. Maybe I want this. 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 Like a lot well, of like gotta, blue and yellow going on over there. over everywhere. <laughs> well, that's my concern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is indeed my concern. I mean, I like the one where I put coins in the vault. Mm, it is nice. 
need to keep you from stealing my coins. Whoa. I know, right? Yeah. Do you even where are your coins at? Uh. <laughs> in front of you? Stealer? Uh. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. I gotta choose one of these two cards to get rid of. Yes. Can I keep them both? I just, I'd rather have them both. Can I get rid of one of my old ones? Yes. Oh, what's, if you say yes, I'm gonna do it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I placed this for that. Now I get to do action number two. Woohoo! Wow. I am going to draw two cards. Wow. Discard one. Then I am going to do a series of motions. Uh, one of which is to. I'm just going to put that on. No, I'm going to put it under. I want you to know what I've got. And get three more friggin' coins that you're just going to steal from me because... I can. That is your option here. Yeah. Hold on. Yep, probably. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what am I going to do first? I don't know. Okay, so I got a red down there. I'll play a blue right there. All right. Take... When do, what do you, what order you want to put these I'm in? I'm going to put something down here. All right. Actually, I'll draw two cards. I figured you want that first. Yep. Ooh, ooh, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'll keep that. Okay. And then I throw something down over here. Okay. And then... No one then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, no. The N. Hmm. I will steal two. Of course. And, and that's the last time you do that, unless you get another card. Hey, wait, wait, whoa, 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 what? It's the last time you do that, unless you get another card. What do you mean another card? You can't put anything next to that anymore. That's what I'm saying. That's true. That is true. Is it the Michael show? Yep, I played twice. I see that. I got problems, like. A lot of problems. Yeah. I like that. I think I'm just going to go for the relatively simple play of playing this card here, drawing two, take, uh, keeping one. Yeah. What? 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 I'm going for three points. And then I am going to... Yeah, I did go for three points. Yeah. What are you doing? Trying to get it into frame. Stop touching my thing. No. Oh, this thing is out of frame. I see. I'm going to do that. Put this under. Get your hands off my stinking money. Whoa. Is it me? Yep. All right. I got three coins. Wee. Okay. And then what? I'm gonna buy a card, which will be this one for a dollar. Oh, I also could have done this and this. What? This and this. 
I could have done that. I, it's not the one I just bought. Okay. And then I could throw one of these under. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. If that's what you say. It is. I took my money, but I didn't do the other action. Okay. But I'm running out of, like, cards. Running out of cards, you say? Yeah. Um, I think we might have messed something up. What did we do? When you buy something, do you put it back in the supply? Oh, the coin? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering that. I'm looking. I figured you'd do. Claim one door by paying the cost in coins shown above the dock slot. I guess it's... I guess what we're doing is fine. Um... I don't like any of these. I do. Oh, I know you do. You can get me one. Get you one what? Get you one what? Anything. I'll take get it. Get you one anything? No. I'm going to place this here. Well, that works out for you. That's really good. Um, I'm going to draw two. Take one. I don't like either of those, really. And then I get to buy one for free from here down. Yeah. Well, considering I don't have anything. Well, well, well. All right. Horrible. That's one action. One action. That was don't mind one me. action. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the cards I just drew. Mm-hmm. 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 I was hoping to be able to steal something from you, but um I can't seem to uh no number two fish. Get any two fish. I can get one fish. I can't get two fish. One fish is draw two cards. Keep one. I can get red fish and I can get blue fish. Hmm. Wow. Except I've really only got yellow fish. Uh, yeah, I only got yellow fish. I got lizards. Um. Yeah, our game like almost ended by the money being run out last time. Yeah. I kept getting like plus three coins, plus three coins. I guess I'm going to have to do this. <gasps> What? Not that. Mm-hmm. Gonna put one under. And I'm gonna get something for free. Mmm. Is this the one I want to do? I don't know. Mmm. Actually, that might be fun to play. Mmm. Downtown. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this I'm going to put something under you I'm going to score three of these coins score th three vault. of these I'm going to vault them got you and then I have no cards so I'm going to do something like Buy something. That. More uselessness. Useless. Uh, draw two. Keep one.
Um, draw two, keep one. Man, you have all the cards. Yes. Don't I don't have any cards. Put one in vault. That was one action. I am going to play this, um, which allows me to put two things in the vault. Don't have two things in a vault. Uh, I'll take put one in the vault. Wow. Well, my next turn is pretty lame, so I'm going to do that. It gets me three coins, mm -hmm. and I could put two of them into the vault. Wow, you're going to kill me. And the second action is, I guess, get two coins. No point in getting a card if you're going to end it. Uh, you're going to get another action. I mean, another turn. Do I? Yeah, didn't I say that on the rules thing? Okay. I'm looking. The player triggered finishes the turn. All, all other players get a final turn. Is that what all you wanted right. to do? Sure, I'll do that then. Uh, what am I going to get for these? Well, I can only win with a yellow, so it looks like that's what I'm going to have to play. Mm -hmm. Draw two. And, you get to and I get to immediately them. vault it. Yep. It's really good. What do you got there? You have six points in Fisherman. Yeah. I've got six points mm -hmm. in Fisherman. You have seven. Oh, you got six. Uh, I have yeah. eight in Nobles. You have none in Nobles. I got two. Oh, you have two in Nobles. You have every soldier in the world. Oh, yeah. I don't even have Builder. Maybe I should get that Builder. Dang. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Builders? How many builders do you matter. got? Two? Um, I could tie you. Two. And the tie means what? We both get the better of the, the two? No, I think we both get the worse of the two. I'm going to double check. For a tie, you score the primary. Nobody scores for secondary. So friendly ties. So that's eight points. Wow. Yeah, I guess I'm taking that and playing it. Uh, so this will be the last option. And I could put that in my vault, actually. So, man, I have something for my vault. All right, that it? Yep. All right. So, uh, pencil and paper. There you go. All right. Two points for each coin in your vault. Give me four points. Give you 20 points. Jeez. <laughs> I get... 16 points. 16 points. Yeah. These don't belong to anybody. No. And then they go out there. Uh, count influence in each suit. All right. So soldiers are first. Um, soldiers are first. You get soldiers. One point... Uh, three points per noble in your grid. <laughs> Woo! Three points. I get one point per noble in my grid. That is... Three points. Three points. Tied Just me. like you. Yeah, but I'm not going to recover from the 16. Mm. Um, especially with the noble's bonus, because I have two coins. Did you have any two more coins. influence with these? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I don't have... Sure. I don't have... I don't have anything in soldiers. Oh, you had a ton of builders in there. Uh, yeah, I did. Dang. So, yeah, you're not going to get that. But it's not going to matter. Um, Because you stole all my money. Um, 
Now we are going to do Fisherman, which... I had no cards. And I also had no cards. So <laughs> Check. Check. Nobles. Uh, one point per coin in my purse vault. Two coin. Two points. You? It's Eight. every two. It's every two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Dead. <coughs> Clergy. I had influence of three. Uh, I have, you have three influence of clergy? Yeah. Uh, shoot, you've got me. You have killed me this game then. I was hoping at least for that. Just counting this influence, one for every three. Uh, six, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You get five. One for every three. I get one for every five. Four. Um, builders, um, I get one point per non-builder. You get one point for every two non-builders. So that's... Four points. Ten points. Not enough. Um, the player with the most total influence. Oh, that's you, I believe. That would be me. Uh, scores three points. Three whopping points. Oh, ongoing ability points. I oh. might get you with the six points there. Yeah, you got six extra points for that. Yeah, you you won. Probably. What? I don't know. I doubted it up. That would be two games in a row where we I was... so close. Wait, why did you put nine? I, I, three plus six, right? You told me three oh. and then you told me six. That was a three and a six. Got you. So... 33 for you. 33. That's like the same score. I think I got 34 the first game. I got 32, I think. 29, 32. Wow. The second wow. game, it has been right down to the wire. 32, Michael. 33, Steph. Wow. That was so close. The first game, we got like 44 and 44. You are a coin thief. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I am. I'm ruined. Yes, I am a coin thief. I'm sorry. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make so many coins you can't steal them all. Oh no, prove me wrong. Yeah, hold her beer, <laughs> virtually since she doesn't drink beer. Yeah, ruined. Ah, <laughs> uh, so that's two games of this. I thought I was gonna have you, and but then I was like, I got no bonus here. I got no bonus here. I got no bonus here. Yeah, you got it one. Almost won. Didn't win. I mean, da, 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 I so this game da, da, I was able. <laughs> da, 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 da. This game I was like, okay, let's see if I can do. What I want to do the first game, which was take coins and put them in my vault. I couldn't yeah, do that last it. game. And no, this time couldn't. I took every card that allowed me to do it. But you notice that it does not guarantee the win. Oh God, no. <laughs> so, and I think that that. You know, it's like, oh, uh, when I first looked at this, I was like, hey, so this is just like every other set collection game. No, not exactly. Um, does it do anything radically different? No, but it does it in cool, interconnected new ways. And yeah. so, uh, should you get it? Yeah, I think Gr uh, Grand Gamers Guild did a good job with this. Um, I did not see any major it's balance solid. issues it's fairly easy to learn it's and easy to learn um yeah. and, and i like i like games like that so. yeah me too i like the interconnecting cards and the combos you can create mm -hmm. and like the setup that you have and then you're also like a little bit restricted by the color and so you're trying to think about oh how many influences you have over there but you might have high hidden stuff and and so i think it's a it does it does what it does yeah. in 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 good connected ways yeah. so yeah really cool so, so I'm glad uh, we got to show it off. It uh, will be on Kickstarter next month. This month? Later April this 20th. month. April 20th. April 20th. So like a couple weeks. We ago. have to pass this prototype on to somebody else. Yeah. Which is why we are bringing it to you now. And normally we will wait until the Kickstarter hits. And then Steph will blog and Twitch play and... Mm -hmm. And everything all in your Kickstarter month, publishers, if you guys are watching this. <laughs> okay. That's when we will do that. And with this game, we had to do it a little early on the publisher's request. See, we work with you guys. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah. It's really cool. And we will pass this on to the next reviewer. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, send us a copy when it's finished. Oh, he will. So, yeah. <laughs> Grand Gamers, Gamers Guild. They always have the top quality and everything. So. And that didn't take 30 minutes. No. So. It was great. Yeah. Two to four players. Check it out. Aldabas. The Aldabas. Uh, Doors of Cartagena. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.